Baofeng. I hope that's right. That's about as close as I can say it. The Bofeng. <laughs> the BFF8 Plus, which is one of their 8-watt radios. But this is actually a tri-band. This is a tri-band, 2 meters, 220, 440, Baofeng Radio HT for Ham Radio, and it's coming up today. Thanks for joining the channel today, everyone. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. On this video series, we do reviews, news, and how-tos of many things that are new in amateur radio, which includes lots of tri-band radios, as I've said before. So this is going to be like the third, third Baofeng tri-band HT that I've done. So apparently I like tri-bands, and yes, I do. I really do like tri-bands. I enjoy uh, the 220 band. It's it's very active. It's not as active as like 2 meters and 440, depending on where you go. But it's it's an active band here in the Dallas-Fort Worth, North Texas area. Uh, I can hit a lot of repeaters from a lot of different, different places because the noise floor is so low. So I, I like to get out there and talk about different radios when I can. So let's take a look at... Uh, the overhead cam here, this is obviously the box, and it looks like any other box for Baofeng Radio. This guy here is a, what does that say? 1800 milliamp hour battery, there's that. That here, there's an earpiece. A lot of these Baofeng radios come with an earpiece. Um, belt clip. Pretty standard charger for this type of radio. And here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's what I'm not going to like. Two separate antennas. There's that. And there's that. So this is going to be your dual band antenna right here. And this one, this red one here, is going to be 220. I'm going to look at this and see if I can get a, a zoomed up shot on this about what the actual range on this antenna is put it in the light here 145 to 230 and then 245 to 260 so it's basically a dual band antenna that'll do 145 to 230 now that covers the entire 1.25 megahertz might be too close to it there it goes okay that covers the entire 1.25 meter, I said megahertz, 1.25 meter amateur radio band, which is 222 to 225 megahertz. So this goes all the way up to 230. So theoretically, you could use, and it, it starts at 145 and goes up from there. So theoretically, you could use this antenna on 2 meters and 220 with this radio but it wouldn't work on 440 and then this one here is the standard two meter 440 antenna with the the black ring around this sma female connector and the red ring around that sma female connector is how you tell them apart i don't like it when uh, radio companies put two antennas for a tri-band radio there's plenty of really great tri-band antennas out there there's no re really reason to do that now the saving grace is that typically these Baofeng antennas are kind of junk anyway. So, nope. Well, that's really stiff in there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> a little finesse. Now, good. Uh, so that's so that's the bad news. Two antennas, bad news. Good news. The uh, as with all UV five Rs, the ports for the belt clip are on. The radio, not the battery. So you can put the radio on like that. That there. I'm going to see if I can find. Okay, officially I'm rebelling, and I'm going to use my Nagoya NA320A tri-band antenna. Now this antenna is a heck of a lot longer than the stock antennas that come with this radio. So again, it depends on your needs. Put that out of here. Don't need that. Don't need any of this. Okay, so we're going to go right there, twist my tray around, 
Okay, this is the dual band antenna that comes with the radio. This is the 220 antenna, which covers half of the two meter band. This is the Nagoya. <laughs> this is the one I currently have on my BTEC U uh, uh, 5x3. Um, I bought that antenna specifically for the 5x3. I talked about this antenna on my best tri band HT of 2020. And it uh, it works very well. I'm very impressed. If if you don't mind carrying around a radio with an antenna that large, then it works great. So it really depends on what your needs are, as I've said before about several things in the past and um, whatever you want to do. But today, we are going to attach this here. Just like that. That makes that... It makes that HT kind of top heavy to have that. Okay. Okay, let's go back over here to the overhead shot. And I'm going to zoom back down on that. I do like the fact that this radio has a black background with white text. So there's a little bit brighter there because I, I woke it up. So this is your VFO in memory mode, like normal. That switches between the top and the bottom. Two, two, four. I'm going to... Just like that. It transmits. There we go. And, you know, I'm not going to go through Baofeng menus. These are all the same, pretty much. Zero through 40. You know, these are standard Baofeng menus. All right, so I'm going to take it and put it on the meter here. Now, this meter goes from 125 to 525 megahertz, so it covers fully the 2 meter, 220, and 440 amateur radio bands, as well as some, uh, you know, FRS, GMRS, MERS frequencies and whatnot. That might be used for something later on in the future. i got to switch my adapters here. Okay, now we're going to go... Well, the first thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to make sure. Okay, so there's two power settings, low and high. That's all there is. So we're going to test it on high power. Uh, 146.520. And we're on the 20-watt scale right there. And that's pushing about 6 watts. It's just to the right of the 5 on the second meter up which is uh, this scale right here with the 20 on the far right. So that 5 right there in the middle is what we're looking at. And key up on 146.520. It's about 6 watts. Well, 223.500 is the uh, nationwide calling frequency for... 220. Okay, that's about 4 watts. On high power, it's about 4 watts. Not bad. Make sure, yeah, it's still sit on, sitting on high power. 446.0. Let's write it 5 watts, maybe just a touch over 5 watts. <clears throat> Four forty one is maybe just a touch under five watts. So that's good. That's um that you know that's basically as advertised. One of the things I did a review a while back on the um, UV eighty two by three. It was a tri band version of the Baofeng UV eighty two, which is which is a decent radio. The UV eighty two, as far as as far as uh, Baofeng radios go, the UV eighty two is is a good one. Um, the dual band version is anyway. And the really disappointing thing about that UV eighty two by three is that it had decent power output on two meters and two twenty and four forty. It did like a watt or maybe a little bit less than a watt. I'm like. Not really a tri band radio if your second most popular band being for the 440 band is only going to output a watt. It's that's that was really disappointing. Um, I don't even remember what I did with that radio. 
I think it's around here somewhere, but I thought about putting it on eBay as broken, <laughs> you know, for parts of repair and putting it on there for a dollar. That's probably what I'll do with it. I don't need it. It's just taking up room around here. I got enough HTs around here. I'm not going to jack with that, but um, it, well, let me try this one. But this one, at least the power output is exactly where you want it. So about six watts on two meters, about four watts on 220, about five watts on 440. So that's that's pretty much where you want it. Uh, let's see. KC5HWB testing. KC5HWB testing out a new radio. KC5HWB. So form factor is pretty good. Uh, similar to the, um, well, the, the original UV5R. And it'll take the extended batteries, which I have on my UV5x3 right now, my BTEC UV5x3. I would imagine that the BTEC UV5x3 probably sounds better and has better um, transmission, or better deviation, whatnot, not as much splatter as these Bofangs can have. I'm actually working on getting some sort of spectrum analyzer. I have a tiny SA. I have one of those tiny SAs. I'm going to try to use a spectrum analyzer to do some testing on some of these Chinese radios and see how much they are or are not splattering. I think it'll depend on the model. Um, but the BTEC 5x3 is about 80 bucks. And at the time of this recording, this, uh, this radio is selling on eBay for just under 30 bucks. Twenty nine twenty four is what I paid. I, I just bought this on eBay because it was a tri band Bailfang radio, and those get really good comments and really good watch time on on YouTube. And I know that people are wanting to see them, so I haven't used this radio in the field myself. I just unboxed it, uh, looking forward to trying it out and seeing how it works. But at one third of the price over the B Tech, I don't know. You're going to get a much better quality radio with the B Tech. Okay, you just are. You're just going to get a much better quality radio with the B Tech, but I don't know, you know, maybe uh, if you're out in the field and you don't mind, if you have a tiny SA or a spectrum analyzer, you want to get one of these, put it on there. If it's acceptable to you, go for it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> 73 guys, put your comments below. Let me know who's using this radio, who has it, what you think about it. If you talk on 220, if you talk on 220, let me know. If you like this video, check out some of the videos that are going to pop up over there. <laughs> We're going to pop up some more videos for tri-band radios over there. Appreciate you watching those as well, 73, and we'll see you next time.